Thank you for tuning in to your daily Wallops weather briefing for Tuesday, September 15th. We saw a chilly low out there across the Wallops region this morning of 55 degrees. We're going to see a cool day today. Temperature is only getting just above 70 degrees here at Wallops. And then we'll start to see temperatures uh, slowly rise again over the next uh, couple of days back into the upper 70s. Taking a look at our surface analysis this morning, we do have a broad area high pressure across the northeastern United States. That is uh, responsible for giving us that cooler weather uh, advecting from the north as well as giving us some drier air as well, which has helped to... Uh, Give us those mostly sunny skies this morning. We're only seeing a couple clouds off the coast, but it is a little bit deceiving as it does look uh, like we have some upper level clouds out there, but that is actually smoke that's gotten entrained into the upper level flow from the west coast. So uh, we're going to continue to see hazy uh, conditions in the upper levels as we go throughout the day today and perhaps even into tomorrow. But uh, otherwise, seeing uh, mostly sunny skies and those cooler conditions for today, and we'll see. Um, those temperatures only get up to above 70 degrees, like I said today. So very pleasant out there and uh, below average for this time of year. We're going to be keeping an eye on Hurricane Sally down here, which is uh, moving very slowly just off of the coast of uh, Mississippi and Alabama. And it's going to slowly drift north over the next uh, day or two, making landfall sometime early tomorrow morning across uh, Mississippi or Alabama, and then uh, taking a sharp turn towards the uh, east-northeast after it makes landfall. Not going to really impact us here too much, but we are going to get some moisture entrained um, into our area with this um, storm, and then this cold front that's currently up across the uh, northern plains that's going to uh, make its way towards our area combining with this uh, moisture a bit and give us to give us some scattered showers as we go into our day Friday let's take a quick look at our satellite loop across the region just a couple of low clouds off the coast here mainly in a little bit uh, towards the far southern Delmarva but the big picture across the satellite loop is you can see how hazy it is in the upper levels and that is uh, stretching pretty much across the entire mid-Atlantic and um, really across a large portion of the country actually right now. And that is uh, all smoke that got entrained up into the upper levels from the west coast. So we're going to continue to see these hazy conditions today and even into tomorrow as well. Taking a brief look at our upper level winds this morning, seeing those winds just above the surface, uh, northeast around 20 knots at 1,000 feet and then uh, dying down to 5 knots as they switch uh, more northwesterly through 9,000 feet at 15 knots and then remaining northwesterly throughout the remainder of the column um, at around 15 knots through 16,000 feet then increasing to 20 to 25 knots at the 20 to 25,000 foot level seeing a freezing level this morning just above 15,000 feet. For today going to be looking at a high of 71 degrees this afternoon we're going to be seeing that low drop down into the uh, mid-50s once again tonight uh, with a low of 57 degrees expected. Seeing those uh, mostly clear skies tonight continuing as well. Winds are going to be northeasterly around 8 to 13 knots and slightly gusty as we go throughout the day today. And uh, continuing into late this afternoon or early this evening. We'll see those northeasterly winds continue tonight but they will be weak um, becoming 6 to 11 knots after 8 p.m. And then... Uh, weakening further after midnight and then by mid-morning tomorrow seeing those winds north northeasterly only around three to seven knots by uh, sunrise tomorrow. Taking a look at our terminal forecast we're going to be seeing just a few clouds near 3,000 feet today. Could be uh, scattered at times as we go towards the afternoon but, any, uh, but that should be short-lived if it does occur. By 6 p.m. seeing a um, few again and then a few clouds at 3,000 feet overnight and could temporarily see those skies become clear as well. And then by mid-morning tomorrow, a few clouds at 2,500, a few clouds at 4,500 feet. We are seeing our tides slightly above normal along the Delmarva Atlantic coast this morning. Let's take a look at our long-range weather model to show you how our weather pattern is going to be progressing over the next uh, week or so. There is Hurricane Sally down there. It's going to take its time to make landfall as we go into a tonight I believe this model uh, this is our European model is uh, a little bit slow as it doesn't really have it making landfall until tomorrow evening and that uh, doesn't really uh, match up with uh, the other models and that would be a, a very 
long time for it to rotate just offshore like that. So uh, as we go into tomorrow, though, we are going to be seeing, uh, like I said, continued partly cloudy skies as well as some cooler conditions as the high pressure will remain in control. And then we go into Thursday, we're going to see a front start to approach the area well from the northwest. Um, that's just going to help to bump our temperatures up as we see a little bit of a southerly flow return. Um, that'll help to bump our temperatures up a few degrees. And then as we go into Thursday evening, this model doesn't show it because it's uh, so slow to move it on shore. But some models are indicating we'll get some moisture moving into the area by late Thursday, possibly giving us a chance of some uh, isolated showers as early as late Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening. However, this model uh, keeps that moisture back a little bit longer, and it will give us a, a big slug of moisture coming Friday, um, late Friday, for this particular model run. Uh, but we are going to be seeing about a 50% chance of scattered showers any time during the day on Friday, um, as it does look like this particular model is a little slow, and uh, we do anticipate this moisture to move a little bit quicker towards our area, impacting the region for Friday for some scattered shower activity. As we go into Saturday, we're going to be seeing uh, that front move that uh, system away from the area. Uh, like I said, this is a little bit slow, so still giving us some scattered showers throughout the day on Saturday. I'm not so certain about that. Um, that front's going to be moving out of the area, bringing some dry air again. And then as we go into uh, the weekend, we're going to be seeing uh, some cooler conditions with that onshore flow. Maybe a little bit breezy as we go into Sunday as that pressure gradient tightens as we have high pressure build into the area. And then for early next week, seeing uh, very dry and uh, very cool conditions across the area as a very large area of high pressure takes hold of the northeastern United States. So taking a look at our seven-day forecast here, going to be looking uh, that's high of 71 today. A little bit warmer tomorrow, but still... Uh, only around 76 under partly cloudy skies. We'll see those temperatures continue to go up a little bit Thursday, um, almost to 80 degrees under mostly cloudy skies, and we'll see the moisture increase across the area, which will help bump those overnight lows up once again back into the mid-60s. Just seeing a 10% chance of a shower late Thursday, and then Friday, 50% chance of showers as we have uh, that moisture from Sally moving across the area combined with a front. And then the uh, forecast for Friday and Saturday is still a little bit uncertain as we were discussing how there's so many, um, how there's discrepancies between our models. It does look like that moisture will be out of here by Friday, late Friday night, and then leaving us with mostly cloudy skies Saturday with temperatures falling throughout the day, seeing an early high on Saturday in the uh, close to 70 degrees and with temperatures falling. And then Sunday and Monday, you can see uh, much cooler temperatures, highs only getting up to the upper 60s and lows back down into the mid 40s under partly to mostly cloudy skies. That will do it for your daily weather briefing. Have a great day.